Good evening. I am Victoria, CEO of Kensican, and this is Asini, Project Manager for the East London Outreach Programme. For over 20 years, Kensican has given support to women in North London living with breast cancer. They provide them with complementary therapies and experienced patients. Experienced patients are women who have had breast cancer themselves. These experienced patients hold their hands while the women with breast cancer are going through their treatment. We've been taking our complementary therapies to, to East London for the past year. Behind me are pictures of women's responses to our complementary therapies. This will give you an idea of the way we have built up trust in many different communities during our time there. I'm here tonight to ask you to help us reduce the one-year breast cancer mortality rate for women in East London. This one-year mortality rate is one of the highest rates in the UK. What does this really mean? It means if a woman, a woman is diagnosed with breast cancer today, by next March she will be dead. For example, if 100 women are diagnosed in Kensington and Chelsea, 96 survive, 4 die. But in Tower Hamlets, 89 survive, 11 die. The reason these statistics are so bad is because the cancer is diagnosed late. Let me start by telling the story of an 18-year-old Somali girl with advanced breast cancer. Her father refused to allow her to have a mastectomy because the mutilation would make her unmarriageable. He was persuaded only when it was explained to him that without the mastectomy, she would die. In some cases, men won't allow their women folk to go to the GP if that GP is a male. They will go and represent their wife's interest. But so much time lapses that often it was very late before the woman ever gets to see a consultant, and this is often too late for her. When we met with the London African Health Project, they said, women associate breast cancer with death. They go into hospital, they feel they'll never come out. Another community organization, New Beginnings, said, Talking about breast cancer is almost taboo in some communities. Having breast cancer, there is a stigma attached to it. Some women may be asylum seekers who have been appallingly treated in their home country. Who have, they have a fear of authority and they don't want to be traced and are therefore reluctant to go to see a doctor. When we convened a pilot project, pilot breast awareness session, using our free complementary therapies, to encourage women to come to our centres, we met a group of young Bangladeshi women. One of them had a granny. She'd had breast cancer, but after two years she died. Another had an aunt who had a lung, but she was too afraid to go to her GP. These young women asked us what could be done. How could we get people to feel safe? How could there be a cancer can in East London that they could come to and realised that they were not alone and that there would be somebody there to hold their hand. This is what we've decided to do. We now want to use our presence in East London, which has given us credi credibility, as a platform for action on breast awareness. This is why we're coming to you for support. Our first step is that we've already made contact with the Public Health Programme at the University of East London and we want to recruit young volunteers from this university. The next step will be for these young volunteers to go out and approach women's groups, health groups, or organizations representing a partic particular ethnic group. The third step will be to train these volunteers in health promotion, thus giving them extra skills. Finally, we will work with the volunteers to set up regular breast health program sessions at the centres identified and in partnership with the relevant groups. This will give us a three plus, this will give us three plus points. Young volunteers will be coming from their local communities. They will already be studying in public health, so there will be an interest in the subject. They will gain skills and this will look a lot good, a lot better on their CVs. We need your support to meet the volunteers' expenses, travel and food. Help us pay for venues, catering, etc. for the sessions, the production of literature, and to pay for the monitoring and evaluation of the project. We are not saying that alone we can reduce deaths from breast cancer in East London. Many other agencies are out there and on the case. But Cancerkin does have a unique entry point 
to some hard to reach communities. And we want your help to reach them with these young people. London is our city and we need to do something to reduce the one year breast cancer mortality rate for women in East London. Please help us. Thank you.